Hey guys, it's me, Casey, and welcome as I continue on in level 58. We've got Frankie the Squealer. He was hosting a dinner. Frankie the Squealer is going to dinner. And that's pretty much where we're at. So let's continue on. Let's clicky. I saw the way you and my wife were flirting with each other during dinner. I'm sorry. I've been locked in a trunk for hours with no human contact. It won't happen again. Oh yes it will. That was the most enjoyable dinner I've ever had or I've had in years. But you just sat and ate in silence while your wife and I talked. Exactly. How uh, would you like a full-time job on the government payroll? You can be the mayor's wife's executive assistant. Sounds pretty fancy. What do I do? Anything. As long as it was her and it's not here. Permanent job at the Pimento Grove available for Frankie the Squealer and Martha Quimby. Ah, uh, yeah. They all had dinner and... I guess, you know, you, well, you know how Mayor Quimbo is. I called him Quimbo in the first part. I guess I'll continue to say it in this one. It's Quimbo. Did you know Fat Tony's real name is Marion? I'm like, I'm liking this getting paid for something besides killing people thick. How can I become a politician myself? Marry someone who has become president and then start authoritativity spotting off on policy issues, even though you're uh, utterly unqualified to do so. But if I marry someone else, your wife won't want to hang out with me. Good point. Or, uh, try this instead. Make a billion dollars and file for bankruptcy. And wear a toupee that looks like a marmoset. And host a TV show with celebrities who haven't been famous since before the internet was invented. A billion dollars? How am I supposed to earn that? You're in politics now. You don't have to earn anything. You raise it from stupid rich people. Gotcha. And where can I find these stupid rich people? Build a country club. And then Frankie Schooler had to sell country club... I don't know what that says. Merchandise? Oh, okie dokie. Artichoke. We have to go to the rich area of the Springfield Heights. Oh, I forgot I can build stuff over here, too. A full day? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. There we go. Awesome. So, let's click it to first see what it sounds like. Nice. So, it's a country club with golfing. That's pretty standard. Now, he's got to go there. Yes. Okay. So. Let's get over there. Where is it again? There we go. So what do we got for an animation? I'm curious. I'm going to say... Probably... That... The door is open. The front door is open. Hopefully. No, actually, no, there's flags. There's flags. The flag is going to wave. There's flags at the top. The flags are going to wave. Frankie, where are you? Here we go. Here we go. Flags going to wave. Flags. Watch the flags. Yay, the flags are waving. I knew it. That's so obvious. You already raised all the money. It's been less than a day. How'd you do it? Yes, I'm very curious as well, actually. People were pretty open to purchasing a membership once I threatened to break their ribs with three iron. Uh, maybe we'll uh, try that next time instead of a five wood. Oh, uh, I get it. Jokes are funny. Very, very funny. All right there, Fat Tony, what do you got for me? All right, Frankie, you've been an inside man in the government for two weeks now. Time for you to do what you do best and squeal. What do you got for me? Get this, Martha Creamy shops at a Ross dress for less. Uh, okay. Do you maybe have anything a little more useful? This next one's a doozy. Martha talks in her sleep, and when she does, she recites episodes of Heart to Heart. 
I didn't hire you to write an expose for Old Magazine. I hired you to help with the business. Now get out of here and find me some information I could use. Yeah, that's right. You gotta get tough with this Frankie guy. So, you don't want to hear about Mother's iTunes playlist? <laughs> Try to sell his report to Old Magazine. Well, there you go, I guess. Die, well, there he goes. I got into a country club despite being Catholic, and Martha has not asked me for a foot rub in weeks. Impressive work, Franny. Frankie. Why did I say Franny? Hey, I'm playing Fran Bo at the moment. You don't know the half of it. What do you mean? Oh boy, I don't have a good feeling about this. While working for you, I've also been working as a mafia spy, reporting everything I see back to Fat Tony. What? But I've also been working as a mafia spy, reporting everything seeing back to Fat Tony. I guess that makes three of us. It's Martha Quimby, or Quimbo. Maybe that's why he seems so bored when I give him my reports. Alright, so Fat Tony's popular. Something I'll never be. It's me, I can't help it. I just like squealing. It makes me feel big. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah, him and I don't feel like clicking everybody else. It's me, I can't help it. I just like squealing. It makes me feel big. I can't believe you squealed. You disappoint me, Frankie. Please, boss, don't hurt me. Martha and I have ZumbaCon Sergio tomorrow. We had to book it two months in advance. Eh, unfortunately, since you're in the government now, it's too risky to have you beat up. Phew. Anyway, it's not like I squeal about something important, like Jon Snow getting murdered in the finale. You chooch, I'm only on season four. Now you're getting beat up. You know nothing, Fat Tony. <laughs> Man, sure no spoilers. How much did they pay him? I don't know what to say. Uh, and sure no spoilers for the news. He's not just... That took a funny, unexpected turn, man. Ugh, my arm, my knee, my other knee. We were on the internet and he's not even dead. I'm tired of his life. I'm gonna run for office. Where I can commit crimes in a much less dangerous environment. But who's going to vote for an incompetent mafia flunky? Perhaps I can help. There's nothing better than making a bold statement on live TV. You're saying I should come on your show and act like a man? No, I'm saying the opposite. Okay, so he's going to run for office now. Hopefully he's... His bruises and welts have healed. Welcome back to point zero four one six seven days Springfield's number one magazine show. Tonight we are joined by a special guest with a very special confession, Francine the Squealer. Just hearing you say that feels so liberating. Francine, you know, you have another confession besides your new identity. Yes. I've been working undercover as a Mafia spy in Mayor Quimby's administration. And while I'm still a bit unsure about my gender, I am sure of one thing. Both the Mafia and the government are corrupt and need to be stopped. Viewers, if you, watch, if you want to march on Town Hall with me and take back Springfield, join me tomorrow at the Country Club. Make Springfielders band together. All those people. Okay, well, I'll do that. Please. Who in the world is going to join this guy? Me. You? You're the least political person I know. You don't even vote when we vote on cheese versus pepperoni. This isn't about politics, Lisa. It's about being part of something bigger. Growing beards and riding a pickup trucks and making high production value propaganda videos. I, I, that is, I guess, that's a reason. 
Right? I don't know. Well, thanks for joining up, guys. Now let's head to Town Hall and overthrow the government. Shouldn't we make a cool flag first? When do we get assigned wives? Anyone have any aloe ointment? My beard itches. People, we've got to seize the moment of change. Viva la revolution! <gasps> oh, giddy, 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 giddy gumdrops. That's great, Casey. You really overthrew the government and installed Francine as mayor? He or she, still not sure about that one, is sitting at the mayor's desk right now. Although it's Saturday, so it wasn't that hard. We just hopped the fence. Make Frankie the Squealer run Springfielders for something. Not sure what that says. The weekend. That's what it is. Alright. Fantastic EO. There you go, go. I'm still conflicted about this. On the surface, she seems capable of running for government. But I feel like she's hiding a terrible dark side, and that she's capable of doing unspeakable evil. Francine the Squealer? No, Hillary Clinton. That really came out of left field, didn't it? Uh-oh, the revolutionary spirit is dying down. I don't want to be another Mohammed Morsai. To stay in office, I need to follow the lesson of those great revolutionary leaders, Lenin and Mao. Once in power, turn on the people who put you there. I was excited about this revolution, but now my farm's done being collectivized. How, most, how am I supposed to make a profit when squishies have been declared counter-revolutionary? They said since I work at the power plant, I'm an intellectual. I need to go to a forced labor camp for re-education. I hate anything having to do with education. Our only hope is to reinstate the man who was previously running the city. I'm ready. No, the man who was really running the city. Darn, I was kind of hoping to enjoy my little vacation. So, they're gonna go back to the beginning and beat the hell out of Frankie. Or Francine. Pretty sure it's Frankie. And that, that's it. That's, that's level 58, guys. There's one more quest after this as well, but it's just a separate one. And it's basically if you want to get one of the premium characters. I think it's Dawn or Vito or whatever the heck the guy's name is. So, obviously I don't have him. So I can't actually show you that stuff. So this is a cutoff for level 58. What did you guys think of Frankie the Squealer and the quest line? Leave a comment down below and let me know. So if you enjoyed this video and you really want to show your support, hit that thumbs up button. That would be super duper awesome, amazing. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey and I will see you on level 59 in the future. Bye bye guys.